So you've been asked to deliver a presentation at work. You've prepared what you're going to say. You've created an amazing PowerPoint. You've driven your partner mad as you've been practicing and rehearsing and making them listen every single evening for the past two weeks. Now, after all of that hard work, you want to make sure that you get it right when you get up on stage. So what I want to share in this video are some of the common mistakes I see people make when they when they are asked to present either up on stage or in front of a group of people. Now, this is not a list of everything that you could possibly do wrong. That would be a really long video. But these are the most common mistakes that I see people make. I get to MC a lot of events. And I get to so I get to see a lot of people that are not necessarily professional speakers but they're industry speakers, people that maybe have to present a couple of times a year or a few times a year, so that it's not something that they do day in, day out. And there are some common mistakes that they make. Not only that, I'm not saying that I am perfect in any way, shape or form. Most of the things that I'm going to share with you are things that I have also done. In actual fact, I've pretty much made all of these mistakes on my journey to becoming a professional speaker. So I'm going to share with you seven things that you want to avoid. And I'm also going to share with you what you can do to make sure that you don't make these mistakes. So let's get into it. So the first thing is avoid doing this. Is it on? Can you hear me? The amount of people that I will see walk up to a lectern, that little microphone that's popping up, they will tap the end of it. They'll ask if the thing's working. They'll ask if it's on. Most of the time, there was a speaker on before that used that microphone so they know that it works there's no need for them to ask the question of is this on it loses the audience straight away it's not a good way to start your presentation most of the events that I do and if you are presenting at a, at a larger event you're going to find that there's an AV team the AV team are going to make sure that the microphone's working if you're really worried about the microphone not working turn up early and ask to do a sound check that's something that I do before every single one of my gigs is I will arrive early and I will do a sound check. You're much better off coming up on stage and just starting your presentation. Just get into whatever it is that you've got to say. If the microphone for any reason is not working, the audience are soon going to let you know. 99% of the time though, the microphone will be working and you'll be starting off strong by just getting into your speech. Number two is be aware of the energy when you walk up on stage. I can't, I can't do that for very long. But I want you to be really aware of the energy when you, that you bring to the stage when you walk up onto the stage. Also, I see so many people, they come up and they, they'll, they'll have whatever they're going to say and they'll go to the lectern and they'll sort of shuffle it on the lectern and they'll get themselves ready before they start to present. The audience, they've got their phones with them. They have access to social media. They've got Facebook, they've got Instagram, they've got TikTok, they've got access to Netflix on their phone. All of these things are inside their pocket. If you're not interesting, there's something way more interesting, just an arm's reach away from them. So make sure that you are really aware of how you are turning up on that stage, those first few moments, make eye contact with the audience, bring a good energy about yourself. That doesn't mean run up on stage like you've had seven cups of coffee before you get out there, but just be aware of the energy that you're bringing. Smile at the audience, make eye contact. The third thing in this list is all down to your PowerPoint. If you are using slides, try to avoid making them overly complicated. If the audience have to sit there and squint to try and read what is on that slide, then your slide is no good. Try and make them with as, as less information on it as possible. So just the key things and as visual as possible as well. Also, be be really aware of what colors you are using because people are going to have to read these things from a distance. Sometimes the projectors that are used to, pr to, to put your slides up onto the screens, they're not the best. So really think about, so small, small text is going to be really hard to be picked up. So try and make your slides as visual and as easy to read as possible. Now, one little thing I am going to say here is sometimes, yes, you might have a slide that's got to present a lot of data. But again, I would sort of ask yourself, how can you simplify this data to make it easier to understand on a simple slide? So with slides, less is more. The fourth thing on my list is again about slides, and that is when you have got a slide up behind you, don't stand there and start reading whatever it says on the slide up behind you, because that is really annoying when people stand there and they read what's on the slides up behind them. Most people in the audience, they know how to read, so they don't want to listen to you reading to them. So with the slides, key points, but talk to the audience. Make eye contact with the audience, deliver to them. Don't talk to the slides. Now the fifth thing, and I was a bit unsure as to which one of these two I wanted to share. So five is actually going to be 5A and 5B. Now 5A, I wasn't going to share it because you already know this, but I feel that repetition 
is kind of the mother of all skill. So I'm going to repeat it. And that is avoid ums and um, ahs. That's right. When we um and we are, we kind of um, make ourselves, yeah, we kind of um, make ourselves sound like we don't really know what we're talking about. And the, the, so the easiest way to avoid an um and ah is to just use a pause instead. Also, knowing your content, knowing what you're going to talk about, will also avoid the ums and the ahs. But you already know that, so we're not going to cover that in this video. Instead, when it comes down to the voice, I want you to think about this. When we're asked to present up on stage, for a lot of people, most people, they get nervous. Anybody who said that they don't get nervous up on stage, they're pretty much lying, to be honest. So there's, this, there's these nerves that come up whenever we have to present up on stage. These nerves can sometimes cause us to talk really, really, really quickly as soon as we get up on stage because we want to get all the words out as fast as we can because we want to get off of that stage. The problem is, is when we talk really fast, A, the audience don't get a chance to process I can't do it for any longer. When we speak really fast, the audience don't, aren't, they're not able to process that information. But also speaking really fast not only makes you look nervous, it makes you feel more, ne more nervous as you are presenting. So a simple trick here is just remember to breathe. Just be aware of how fast you're talking and just slow it down slightly. Now, the sixth thing that we really want to avoid when it comes to presenting, especially if we've got quite a lot of things to say and we're presenting from a lectern, is to have our head down while we're reading a script because when we do that people can't see our faces they're looking at the top of our head and if you're starting to go bold that's not a good thing is it avoid looking down and reading straight off of a script what you want to be doing is making eye contact with the audience you want to be making eye contact with different parts of the room different people in the room you want to be connecting drawing people in if you've got your head down you're not connecting with the audience if you're not connecting with the audience they're not connecting with you which means that they're not connecting with your message so the seventh and final thing in my little fun list of things not to do when you get up on stage is to avoid at all costs speaking in a monotone voice because when you speak in a monotone voice you become really boring you send the audience to sleep the audience will tune out as i said earlier on people have got things that are way more interesting in their pocket they've got a phone that's got social media on it TikTok, facebook instagram netflix all those things are there i can't do it for any longer avoid speaking in a monotone voice especially if you if you're reading a script there is a a really good chance that you might just default to speaking in a monotone way the way that I like to say this is you want to be the words that you are saying. You want to be the, 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 the speech that you are delivering to the audience. So those are my seven tips. Which one was your favorite? Also, let's start a little conversation. What are the other tips that you've got? What do you think are bad mistakes that people make when it comes to presenting up on stage? I've shared just seven plus one half one with you in this video. As I say, this is not a full list. So let's start a conversation going below this video. What are the other mistakes that you see people making? And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheerio.